morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome. Welcome. Today, we are going to talk about self-respect, right? What is self-respect? How do you stand up for yourself? How do you have those boundaries? So settle in, join me, have a sip. So a lot of times people will take advantage and I'm sure you've experienced it, right? They'll step in, maybe push those boundaries, maybe take you for granted, not really tell you, but last minute when they're canceling, perhaps they're showing up late when you have plans, maybe they're not following through on something. So self-respect is all about making sure your boundaries are in place, making sure that you are taking care of your needs, nurturing your soul, and really honoring your path and your journey, and that you deserve the respect from others as much as you give it. So when we look at ourselves and when we dial in, who in your life is taking advantage? Is it your boss? Is it a family member? Is it a partner? Is it a friend? And you will feel that your vibration will shift. You will feel a sense of being taken for granted or your needs not being met or your needs not being considered. And again, we're here to help others. We're here to connect and be there. But if you're there for everyone else and someone's not there for you, you're going to feel that. You're going to really start to feel, wait a second, why am I always on time? Why am I always showing up? Why am I always answering the call when it's not reciprocated? All right. So the more that you allow that, the more it's going to happen because the energy is going to attract that. You're going to attract more people like that. You're going to attract that more in your life. So it's important to really say to yourself, hang on. You know what? I need you to be on time for me. Otherwise, it's not going to work for me. If you can't be here, if we set a dinner at six o'clock and you can't make it at six o'clock, then please don't agree to it because it's not fair for you to be sitting there waiting for someone. And they're not really respecting your time, okay, or your space. When we have self-respect, you're going to know when it's time to ask for that raise or that promotion or it's time to move on. You're going to know whether or not you're getting everything out of that romantic relationship you deserve. You're going to know if someone is taking you for granted anything like that. So what I want you to do is let's take, just evaluate your life, right? Who in it respects you? Who in it doesn't? Are you respecting yourself? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you taking care of your needs? Are you really setting up so that you are feeling fulfilled and nurtured in a way that you deserve? We all deserve to be taken care of first and foremost by ourselves and then by another around us. And we can do the same for others. But you know, a lot of times when you're an empath and you're a light worker, what do you do? You help someone else and then you help someone else and then you help someone else before taking care of yourself. Others will put you on the back burner, yet you don't do that to them. So today, 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 let's make a change for yourself. Let's set, I know the boundaries. I know the boundaries are hard. I just heard you say that. Kobe, they're, ha they're hard. I know they're hard. I know they're hard. And yeah, some people are going to get upset. Some people are going to get mad. They don't like it when you tell them no. But I want you to really take care of yourself, okay? You deserve, you deserve to be respected, all right? And so when you, even in your own work, right? If you're there helping others all the time and exhausting yourself doing it, Nurture yourself first. What do you need? Do you need a day off? Do you need a nice little bubble bath? Do you need a massage? Do you need new friends? <laughs> do you need new friends and peeps in your life? Don't be afraid to have new people in your life. Don't be afraid to restructure, restructure your foundation. It's okay. Especially as you raise, as you shift and as you raise and as you change, the people in your life may change as well. And maybe they fulfill a need at once, but maybe at this point they are not reciprocating, you know?
and absolutely and needing friends in general absolutely especially as a light worker as a light worker so many people will want a little bit of advice from you maybe they just need to ask one question maybe they love to be near you for the energy and this is all wonderful i mean what a what a wonderful gift and opportunity to help others but as a light worker or as a sensitive as an empath anything you need true and authentic people around you True and authentic people who accept you when you're upset, who accept you when you are in a mood, who love you and hug you when you need it, who are there when a listening ear, when you are feeling distraught or confused. So when we have these experiences, I want you to first and foremost remember self-respect. Okay, it's hard. People are going to get mad. They are, I promise. They're going to get mad at you. They're going to get mad. They're going to blame you. Maybe a little gaslighting is going to go on. I'm just I'm just letting you know a little gaslighting may happen. Okay, (laughs) it's okay, right? It's okay. It's not your fire. They're gaslighting. That's on them. Okay. All right. I'm just I just want you all to just stay in your power. All of us have been hurt, right? Poo-poo. It it stinks to get hurt, doesn't it? It Doesn't it stink to get hurt? It sure does. But hopefully we can learn from those experiences, right? Hopefully we can learn and we can grow and we can understand and we can evolve. And we can stand more in our power and understand more of our purpose. And at the end of the day, look at ourselves in the mirror with pride and respect and self-respect, okay? When you respect yourself, the universe will follow suit. So that means they may pull some others out. They may pull some others out because they know that there's no respect there. But guess what? That creates an open space for someone new to step in. Maybe someone more connected, more in alignment. And together, you will have a stronger connection and a stronger foundation, okay? So that is your coffee with Colby. But I just want to send you all a lot of love. Let's self-respect first and foremost. Start setting those boundaries around you and really just shine your light and shine it bright. Shine it so bright that the haters and the narcissists and the gaslighters, they just can't stand it and they go away. (laughs) I'd hate to say it, but the the cockroach in the light. (laughs) That's probably the worst thing to say, but you get it, right? Let them scatter. If they scatter, they are not for you. Okay? If they run, if they gaslight, they are not for you. Okay? So, so much love, so much love, and a couple events coming up. We've got the date night this week. Uh, We have Raise Your Vibration Workshop coming up, a beginner's platform coming up. So there we go. Lots of love to you guys. Remember to shine your light, shine it bright, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.